it, it, it's amazing amazing the way the speed feels different depending on how high you're up and, and the size of the vehicle you're in all right there we go we made it so here's we we did the fly over here we, we know we can get through the tunnel we know uh, actually the tunnel leads us into the construction area well there we go nice all right let's drop this puppy get paid Ugh. and there's our little cinematic i like i, I like how the, how they've added uh, you know these little cinematics to the game now because i know on the black sea uh when you take the ferry that little ferry that there's there's the steam achievement for it gives you the little cinematic of traveling the ferry and and i really like that I, i'm hoping that they actually add cinematics for for taking ferries uh, between the countries, you know, between, you know, all the ferries and the trains. I'd love to see them add cinematics for, for taking the train. It doesn't have to be a different one for each city. Uh, I think you, they could get away with just doing one ferry cinematic and one train cinematic for all the ferries and trains in the game. Uh, but I really would love to see that, that little cinematic of us going through the train tunnel or taking the ferry across cross whichever sea it is uh, I'd really love to see them add that to the game at some point because that to me that makes it a little bit more immersive than instead of fading the black hearing the sound and then you're uh, on, on on the other station at that point I right, just so let's see where we're at so we did one to the West Depot we've got three to the east so we're halfway through the East Depot so now what we want to do is actually take something out of the West Depot here. So let's see what we got. Okay, here we got a backhoe load. Oh, here we go. We got um, heavy haul. To tr oh, you know what? That would be perfect. That's under so I'm going to need gas. But I like the idea of taking the dozer, the heavy haul here, to Torino. Um, I'm going to pick that up right now, as a matter of fact. Oh, what's this one? A driller. Okay. I, drove, I want to take the heavy haul. We're going to be doing that one. So I want to get that before that. Uh, so we don't lose that. Then I'm going to have to see where the hell the gas station is at. So actually taking this might get me into trouble because I might not have enough fuel to get to a gas station. I might have to take a detour here. Because I definitely don't have enough to get to Torino. I know that. I've only got... Oh, that, that's actually kind of close here. Oh, look at that. We're back down to 99.98%. So figured, we, well, th this will go away. The the two not explorables here will go away. So the update to France was only 0.02%, huh? That's interesting. Which means it's going to be a pain in the ass to try, find every stretch of road that I need to re-explore in France now. All right. Oh, Perfect. Okay. So I have to pick it up out of here? No, wait a minute. That, no, hold on. That might be wrong then. This might not be the job that I need to take. Hold on. Da, 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 da. Because that's not technically in the depot, but it's the same construction company. And I think I'm going to have to do this because I don't know if that would actually qualify. See this here, excavator, right. See, it's, I think it's got to come out of here. And here's east. Excavator, excavator. Okay. Our excavator and backhoe loader. 
We all look at scrap metals. This Torino? Yeah, I, I actually do have enough gas to get to Torino. I'll be running on fumes by that time. But, uh... Okay. So we did a wheel loader. We did scrap metal. We did... I think the backhoe was the first one we took. I want to try to see if this heavy haul comes back. Here we go. Yeah, I don't... Eh, I don't think these actually qualify. Damn, that sucks, because I would have liked to have done that one. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go for the shore bet. So we'll take the do uh, the excavator here. They are both identical. Both identical jobs. So it doesn't matter, so we'll just we'll just take this one. All right, so we'll begin that delivery. Oh, mm, God. See, funny thing is, I'm not even tired today. I was up late last night during that stream because okay. I initially yeah. planned only to stream uh, Foundation for an hour last night, and it ended up being and it ended up being over three hours. I didn't get to bed till after 12:30 in the morning. So thank, thank, thank God I was off today, and could sleep in. Oh, which reminds me, you know, what? Ooh, before I freaking forget, I gotta turn my alarm back on because I do not want to be late for work tomorrow. There we go. I gotta be up at 3:30 in the morning to get to work at five o'clock. Friggin' brutal. Which is why I, I want to do more, especially during the weekdays, do the streams in the afternoon. Because if I do them at night, it's like, oh God, the, if, if I get too tied up in the game, then it's like I'm going to go past my bedtime. And it's going to just going to make the next day even tougher, not only for work, but then when I'm getting home to try to stream, I'm just going to be even more exhausted. I even, I even slept well, in a yeah. bit today, so... I'm not... Ow, ow, damn. Ooh. Got arthritis in my thumb. Ugh. I'm falling apart. I'm getting old, man. It sucks getting old. Body is just in constant pain anymore. I think I can, uh, yeah, I can, my, uh, cruise control is still up. <sighs> Pardon me, I think it is net, well, it is definitely lunchtime, I'm getting hungry, so this, this is going to end up probably being our last job for the stream today. It would be nice if I, uh. I wasted a little bit of time in the in the middle of the stream there, figuring the truck and figuring out what I was gonna do. But may, well, maybe if I can find another short job out of Torino, this doesn't take too long. Maybe I'll find something now at Torino to come back here to West. That way we're halfway through each through our personal goal for each depot, because this will only be the second job for the West depot. But uh, like I said, we'll be back here uh, on RMG Gaming to this channel for our Saturday, uh, <coughs> Saturday afternoon drive. I'll, def I'll definitely be doing Saturday afternoon when I get home from work. I'm gonna eat some lunch, pop in here because I want to do uh, the final job, uh, one more job I need for the Turkish delight. Um, that's that's you know, and that's why the. Uh, that's why the achievement popped up for two out of three after the first job. Because uh, this is actually the first time I've been in this particular profile. Um, since I completed the second job. Uh, the second 2500 kilometer job. Because then I did, uh, then of course I did a couple of episodes on my career profile. 
um, for YouTube, which I haven't done the 2,500 kilometer jobs on. So that's why it popped up then. Yeah, so we'll be back Saturday afternoon uh, for uh, to, to finish off the Turkish Delight. So we're going to take a 2,500 kilometer job out of uh, Bucharest. See, that, that would be a good one to do a convoy for, but I'm, I, if, if the multiplayer servers are even updated to the current version of the game, I uh, cannot get to Bucharest. I, I would have to drive to Bucharest first, so I don't have time to do that. Sunrise, what time is it? Do I have a clock on my dash here? There we go. It's six twenty-six in the morning. All right. So hopefully everybody will uh, join me again Saturday afternoon for a nice, nice long uh, trucking session. And I'm going to, I'm going to try to do it on uh, uh, for World of Trucks. Is that 2,500 kilometers will be a nice little boost uh, for the uh, two uh, distance achievements for uh, the the distance achievements for the World of Trucks achievements uh, to the moon and uh, what's the other one? I forget what the other one is. So that'll be nice. Of course, we're we're adding a little bit here. These these are little. Obviously, little paltry, paltry jobs for those distance achievements. But we'll be doing that. So uh, I'll actually, I, I'm actually, I don't know what I'll be driving. I have to see because I, I do have a garage in. Uh, I, I think it's actually in Bucharest, or no, it's not in Bucharest. Uh, or yes, it is in Bucharest, but we've got to come out of s somewhere else. It's a Bucharest garage, but we, we for the achievement you don't come out of Bucharest. You come out of Istanbul. That's what it is. You gotta come out of Istanbul. So we'll be we'll be driving out of my Istanbul uh, my Jesus Christ. Driving out of my Bucharest garage, so I don't recall what uh, what truck I have in there actually. See that looks like a new trailer I haven't seen before. Dol Dol Dolces, Dolces. I don't recall seeing uh, that trailer before. And I'll also, I, I gotta remember, I do want to look up to see when, uh, see when we can guesstimate uh, when Iberia is going to be released. Are you effing kidding me? Motherfucker. How am I out of fuel? There's no way I am out of fuel. I had enough fuel to get... <laughs> and I cannot teleport because I'm in a World of Drugs contract. Son of a monkey's uncle. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to abandon this job. Son of a... See, I, I should have gone down here. This is the first time I have ever run out of fuel in the game. You have got to be kidding me. Yep. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Well, it looks like we will. <laughs> yeah. Can I? Hold on. Wait a minute. What? What? Uh, what is that? F7? Um, I go, no, F, F1. Hold on. Yeah, I don't, uh, F7, I think, is help. Oh, view, that's what we want here. Hold on, where is... Here we go. Tow to service. Emer okay, here we go. Emergency refueling. Let's see. I've never done this before. 
provide you with 50 liters of diesel it will cost 372 euro and will take 30 minutes. Uh, I'm trying to think if 50 liters is even enough to get me to a gas station. Fuck it. It don't matter. Well, it, nah, I saved the contract. All right. So it's only if you get towed. Only if you get towed do you lose the contract. All right. So that's good to know. I still have my beacons on, right? Yes. All right. That's the first time I've ever run out of gas in the game. So I can go 153 kilometers. So I should have more than enough fuel to get to get to Torino. Which I need to do this. And of course there's there, there's no fuel station in here. I would have to buy that garage, up that up <laughs> upgrade that garage to a large size garage just to get <laughs> The fuel canister in there. Well, it doesn't matter. It, as long as I can get there and drop the trailer off, and I can just teleport to a gas station. Tenerse a sinistra. I think that she said, "Prepare to turn right," or "Prepare to exit right." Obviously so, because according to the, the mileage, I should have had enough to get to Torino. Alright, we are now in Torino. See, th th this is the killer if you have to stop. This is what's going to burn the fuel up faster. Is going through town, but see, I wasn't even, I wasn't even in town. It was basically all highway driving. I really, I don't even remember if I had to stop at any point until I ran out of gas. But we used seven liters so far, just to get this far. We're almost there. Yeah, never trust. Well, see, yeah, that's why. That's why I always, uh, oh, dude, 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 dude. Yeah, I. That's why I say I, I've never run out of gas because I've never let it get down that far. And that was my fault because I was. I, I forgot. I, I should. I should have gone gra and grabbed gas. I should have teleported to a station just to fill up before I. I, I took the contract and I, it just completely slipped my mind. I forgot I needed gas. I'm in the wrong lane. I gotta turn this way. Which normally wouldn't be a problem, except of course you can't teleport when you have a, a World of Trucks contract uh, in your log. Even if it's suspended, you still can't teleport. Otherwise I could have just teleported and be done with it. You fuel up and then go back to where I was at. Finalmente, siamo arrivati. But the emergency fuel got us there. I, I could, I probably do have enough to get to the closest gas station here. <sighs> Depends on how long it takes me to park this damn thing. All right, I'm gonna have to come in from this side. Oh, yes, abs. You're going to make pasta? Is Aaron still in the bathroom? Well, Aaron can make pasta. You want to eat the leftover pasta for lunch? Yeah. Didn't you have lunch yet? No. 
Yeah, but didn't she eat lunch at Grandma's house? Okay. Um, it, de it depends how much pasta is in there. Heat it up for no more than a minute. Yeah, just just once once you put it in there and close the microwave door, just hit the one. one yeah. Oh, what am I looking at? I frick. She she distracted me. Oh, you know what I forgot to do too? Hold on a second. It's been so long that I completely forgot here. Um, my commands. There we go. And that was for the one in the tunnel. I did sideswipe the tunnel, I think, during the first job. And then, of course, that's that's the one that Taz caused me to wreck. Because he, he, he made me read chat. <laughs> so we did, we did have two little fender benders. Well, one little... Well, yeah, we did have two wrecks today. Let's call them for what they are. <laughs> I gotta blame somebody. I can't blame myself now. Come on. That's not the American way. American way is to always find somebody else for somebody else to blame for whatever happens. Fake news, exactly. See, that's a, I, I, I actually I have to get back into uh, Plague Incorporated. At some point, I got whether I do it on the stream or just do a YouTube video for it because there is a fake news scenario that you can play through, and I think it, 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 it's, it's, it's not infecting the world with disease but infecting the world with misinformation. So, I, I, I actually do want to play through that scenario at some point soon. All right, so let's, uh, all right, we're parked, let's turn the beacons off. We can turn our lights off, thank you. We'll just drop the trailer. Leave the engine running. Burn out all that gas that I can. Alright, there we go. Alright, that wasn't bad. 16 minutes. Still took a little bit longer than I have left to do another job, but that's alright. We'll uh we'll see how long that uh we'll see how long the twenty five hundred kilometers takes us on Saturday. Then uh and depending on where we're at with that, I might do uh, I might do a couple more jobs for this Saturday. All right. Change your name in D Trump. Hey, win guarantee. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I. It's really been a bizarre four friggin' years. I mean, I've gotten a kick out of it because it, it drives my wife nuts because she's always looking at news stories. She's always been one to look at news stories and it, it drives me nuts because she she always because she's a she, she's always a worry wart. She's always she's she, she she has a high anxiety, not sort of like as a condition, but she's a very anxious and worrisome person. She always worries about everything. And so naturally, of course, she's she's always reading the news headlines on Yahoo and stuff like this and reading through these depressing stories. It just drives me nuts because it just makes her more worrisome, makes her more depressed. I'm like, just, just stop it. But she just I mean, all these news stories she reads that, that you know, all the stuff that, that Trump tweets out, the stuff that he says, it's like to me is, is amusing. It's like whatever. You know, the guy's a narcissist. He's a classic narcissist. Um and uh, in fact, somebody she knows, who I think think works with disabled children, um, thinks he might also have Asperger's syndrome. She thinks she ha he has Asperger's syndrome. I, d I don't know because I don't know enough about the condition to, to comment on that. Uh, but she does. But she says that just just the way he talks, the way he treats people, and the way sort of how he acts. Is, is classic signs of Asperger's syndrome. 
And to, to me, the way, the way I look at it, because I've looked up, nar- nar- you know, uh, way back when during my college studies and, you know, psychology and stuff like that, and, and, and doing some research for gaming stuff, I, I've looked up narcissistic behavior and, and, and what a narcissist is and that kind of stuff. And he's a classic narcissist, for God's sakes. Um, so either way, he probably suffers from both, from both conditions. But yeah, just the stuff he says is just like how can it's like how can anyone seriously think that you know the stuff he says? How can he believe it? It's, I I can't believe that he he believes the stuff coming out of his own mouth. It, it, it's simply impossible. Like that whole whole thing with, with with ingesting the cleaning fluid or injecting it into your veins. It's like how does anybody? Especially if you're the president of the United States and you know there are people out there who will who will take every single thing that you say extremely seriously. How do you even let that come out of your mouth? It's just it's just amazing to me <laughs> and not think there's an issue with it. It's just amazing to me. I just I just don't understand it, you know. That's why, why to me, it's just so amusing because it's it's just so over the top, you know. It's like we're watching a it's like we're watching a live comedy movie or a live comedy uh, sitcom TV show because the stuff that goes on are so over the top, and that's exactly what he is just so over the top with the stuff. It's like a comedy. It's like West Wing, but a a a a com- in in a a comedy in the vein of uh, Seinfeld or Everybody Loves Raymond is what it is. It's just it's just amazing. But yeah, I don't know. And and, and you know, and the, and the thing is, and it really, the partly the scary part is he has a good chance of getting reelected just the way. Uh, you're, you're the, the way people, the way a lot of people are talking here in, in the United States, and um, and just the way things seem to be trending, he has actually has a good chance of being reelected, which would just baffle me to no end. But uh, don't look at the news anymore. Belgian politics, Trump, and COVID. Yeah, and that's pretty much what it is for us. American politics. Trump, which are obviously one and the same, and COVID are basically the only yeah, the topics. And of course, now we have all the rioting, uh, the rioting and the protests going on with uh, with uh, the Black Lives Matter movement because uh, you know this cop who assassinated this guy uh, is just is another thing. Just watching this whole thing unfold is just mind boggling to me. How anybody in the right mind does what they did to this guy. It's just I don't understand how how it just I don't understand how this happened. It just makes absolutely no sense to me. I mean, this guy is literally begging for his life, and you're just gonna you're killing. You're literally going to stay there until he's dead. I mean, I don't know what the hell was going through this cop's mind, but it's just I don't know. But we've got you know, and, and so the, the the protests are fine. You know, I understand the protests. In fact, we we had some right uh, right near my hometown uh, Sunday that actually it, it was um, apparently there was some protests and riots going on Sunday evening I actually had to go over to my mother's house because uh, our washing machine broke so I had to go finish the laundry over there so on my way back like the, the, the road back uh, was completely jammed so like I was fortunate enough to where I saw the jam up and was able to get off the road but apparently it was because of protests and rioting went on. They burned a cop car and everything else. And, um, and so I ended up, I, I ended up, I had to turn around and go an hour out of my way just to get back home uh, because of the, the, the roads that they had locked down because of the protest. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. So that, that kind of annoys me. It's like, okay, if you want to protest, go ahead and protest. But you know what? You got to let people get from point A to point B. You're not helping your cause by stopping people like me from getting where I need to go when I need to get there. So I'm all, you know, I, I am absolutely 100% with, with, with the Black Lives Matter movement, all that kind of stuff. But, 
you know what? And and, you, and I'd be willing to protest, absolutely be out there protesting. But I'm not going to be blocking up major arteries. I'm not going to be stopping people from getting to point A to point B. You know, you can protest without without disrupting everybody's lives because you don't help your cause that way. Then, of course, with the riots and the destruction, yeah, that's absolute vandalism, and that's not and and. And yeah, I, I could go on about that, but that's just, and it's not the protesters doing it. It's, it's these specific anarchist groups that are doing it, which hurts, hurts the cause at the end of the day too. Um, which, which makes me even more, uh, more angry because if anybody needs to be shot, it's these rioters and the, uh, these rioters, the looters and the vandals. You know, I'm, I'm watching these incidents in Philadelphia, New York, uh, Detroit, and everywhere else uh, of, of these jackasses going in there and destroying businesses. A lot of them are black-owned businesses or employ African Americans. So, you know, not only are they shooting themselves in the foot by doing it, but you're just not helping the cause. And, you know, it's like I, 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 I would love to see a news story where, you know, People come in, these get, you know, somebody's looting an ATM or looting a store. Somebody just opens up on these people. It's like, because at some point, you know, it's like, I'm all for save a life. I'm all for, you know, equal rights and all that stuff. But, you know, if, if you're going to act like a freaking animal, you know, you need to be shot like a freaking animal at the end of the day. It's like two black guys together saying the N-word. No issues there. Why a white guy telling a black guy racist some strange way of thinking there. Well, that, that I, yeah, you're right on the one hand, but the, the way I think they look at it is they're taking power from the word, which, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me is, is the old adage I've ever gone through. So, you know, the, the, the way that people put so much power into certain words and stuff like that, um, I just don't buy into that. You can call me whatever you want. Yeah, I mean, people can call me white trash, honky, what, whatever, you know, white racist words you can throw at me. It, whatever, <laughs> you know, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. Um, so the, the fact that there, there's a lot of these groups and, and, and people that put a certain amount of power into these words um, that, you know, obviously I don't, I'm not part of those groups, so I don't have that understanding on how that affects them. But that's, that's, you know, that's to the point to where, because it's the same thing with the LGBT community, where they'll call each other gay and, and, and some of the other harsher um, 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 terms uh, that people yell at, uh, used to yell and, and derogatory terms for, for uh, gay and lesbian people. But, you know, it's all right for them to say it because what it, what it is, it's they're taking the power from the word and using it amongst themselves. It's like just, you know, if, if I was with my friend and we call each other a moron, we, we know we're just kidding with each other. You know, we're, we're being derogatory to each other. Uh, if somebody else would call us morons, we wouldn't like it. But if we call each other morons, we're OK with it. it it's along that line, you know. Black people are more immediately offended. Exactly, yeah, because you know there is a history to that. It's the same thing with the Confederate flag and stuff like that. For me, you know that whole in, the whole thing a couple of years ago with about uh, about taking down uh, statues of Confederate uh, uh, prominent Confederate officers and soldiers, taking down the Confederate flag. Um, to me, it's like you know, it's like why? To me, that's trying to erase history. Um, that's the one thing. I, the, that's the one thing I'll, I'll get up at, in arms about. It's, you know, okay, fine. Take down the Confederate flag. Take down all these statues. But you, you know, you're that that to me that's trying to avoid history instead of owning up to yes, this is a part of history. This is a part of what American culture entailed. So we don't have to be proud of it. But let's acknowledge it. Let's not try to hide it. And to me, taking down like the Confederate flag, taking down statues like that and, and other stuff like that, you know, um, is 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 trying to avoid the problem or trying to hide the problem instead of coming at face on and say, yeah, you know, in fact, just in Philadelphia, um, they took down the statue of an uh, of a mayor of a, somebody who was a mayor in the 70s. 
uh, what was it, Frank Rizzo, I think his name was. And apparently the guy was anti-segregation, um, or he was pro-segregation. He was anti-anti-segregation or something like that. And he was uh, really sort of, I mean, if they call him racist. I don't know the whole story behind everything, but he was sort of a, a racist. He didn't really help the black community. So everybody wanted the statue taken down because of that. But it's like, okay, well, this is what this guy is. But didn't he do any good? You know, you know he did some good. Let's, let's not, you know, sure, he was human. He made mistakes. He believed in the wrong things. We all do. We all make mistakes. We all do stupid things. There are things that we could, uh, you know, we could believe in that could probably not believe in that kind of stuff. But, you know, don't don't run from that. Own up to the fact and, and to take these things down and, and get rid of them. To me, it's just hiding the fact. Let, let's own up to the fact that, you know, you know, the American Civil War was was a dark period in American history. Um, and a lot of what led up to it is is not good history, but if you look at American history, we're, we're, we we are not um, we are not uh, we should we should have nothing to be proud of of our history as Americans um, the the way we uh, the way we conducted ourselves uh, over the last two hundred and thirty years uh, to uh, to uh, you know. Uh, each not only each other but obviously you know the, the native you know the american indian you know uh, the african american the chinese american the irish american you know anyone who wasn't you know white english american uh basically got uh short end of the stick in the 200 years of american history so it's it's a lot of it we don't have to be proud of so but let's own up to that fact let's not hide it let's uh Let's um, let let's acknowledge it head on and and look at it and say we we know we can do better. How do we do better? Let's try to do better instead of just okay. Let's just take it all down. Let's hide it and then we can ignore it. No, that that solves nothing. Ignoring the problem, uh, hiding the problem doesn't actually solve anything and get us anywhere. But that's my soapbox for the day. For today, I guess. So I will thank everybody for joining me today. Much, much appreciated. I got to go get some lunch because I'm starving and I got to figure out what I'm going to be kicking for dinner tonight. And uh, we'll be back again tomorrow. Where are we doing tomorrow? I think I'm doing World of Warplanes over on Channel BJ Wilder tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'm planning to do it in the afternoon, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how things go. If not, it'll be in the evening. Uh, Saturday, we'll be right back here, Channel RMG Gaming 2, with more Euro Truck Simulator 2. A nice 2,500-kilometer job to finish off Turkish Delight out of Istanbul. And then uh, Sunday, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we will be here Sunday for a nice long mega stream with the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, and we should I should be on in the morning for some Secret World Legends on Channel BJ Wilder. But anyway, thanks, Taz, for uh, stopping by. Who else did? Uh, who else stopped by today? Let me thank everybody who uh, stopped by and popped into chat here. I think it was Taz and Taz and Taz. I know somebody who was here earlier. Where'd you go? There we go. Uh, Vera Kret, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated. And Machine Four Days, thank you for stopping by as well. Of course, everybody out there who lurked away uh, this afternoon as well is much appreciated. Uh, thank you, everyone. Be sure to follow us so you know when we go live. You can uh, follow that. You can also follow me over there. Uh, there's my website, uh, realmillenniumgroup.com. Uh, and, of course, all the uh, all the social media. You can follow me on Twitter and YouTube as well. And, of course, there's our other Twitch TV channels uh, you can catch us on as well. So thank you, everyone, for joining me. I am BJ Wilder. Until next time, I will see you. Oh, I almost forgot to do this. Hold on. I will see you in game and on the roads. Take care, everyone. Stay safe out there. Stay healthy. Stay smart. Stay smart. Stay, stay smart. Stay smart. And uh, you know what? Take care of each other as well. Be be kind to each other. And uh, we'll all survive this crazy, crazy world together. The game another day. Thank you, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.